Garrett McNamara is an award-winning giant wave surfer. He was also a finalist in the Billabong 2009 Global Big Wave Awards. That's a competition that gives prizes to surfers who are caught on camera successfully conquering and in one category wiping out on the biggest waves of the year. There are actually five total categories in the contest. We caught up with them hours before this year's competition winners were announced to find out what it's like to wipe out on a wave that's bigger than a five, six, or even seven-story office building. Two different types of waves, you know, deep water and shallow water, and two different consequences. One, drown. Two, get scrubbed to death. Actually, I, I enjoy wipeouts on giant waves with if it's deep water because you just go for the ride after the ride under the water, and, and you're going up, down, and all around, and you have no control, and you're weightless, and you're like a grain of sand in the ocean. So deep water is more of a comfort zone. It's more of an easier place as long as you're... you're uh, confident with your ability to hold your breath for a long time. The big giant waves in deep water could, at certain spots, I, I strongly believe they could rip your limbs off or, or, you know, decapitate you just from the power of the lip alone. I've had friends, that their whole arms have been detached except for the skin. Everything under the skin was detached. The only thing that was holding their, their arm, the guy's arm on was, was his, his skin. Same with my friend's um, knee. Now, when it comes to shallow reefs and giant waves, is a much more dangerous factor. You're dealing with super sharp reef or pinnacles of reef and a massive amount of water just slamming you straight into that reef. So when you fall on that type of a wave, I'm instantly just praying to God, please God, please God, watch over me, please God, no God. And high percentage of those wipeouts that I take in really shallow reefs, I very rarely hit the reef. And when I do, it's, you know, it's a decent cut but nothing that really will slow me down so far but the consequences are so much greater because you can get scrubbed to death on the reef in one instant break your neck break your back break anything rip you apart tear you in two when you're surfing a shallow reef spot it's very very dangerous and and um you're, there's a lot going through your mind when you eat it. You might be wondering why he does it, why he risks his life again and again to surf waves that most of us would be afraid to even think about getting close to. I love it. It's what I live for. It's my passion. I do it for the rush. I'm always searching for the rush. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.